a reading of the New Testament as, oh, excuse me, as rendered by the uh, Gullah people of uh, South Carolina, my people on my uh, mother's side. And it, uh, of course, it comes from the uh, New Testament of the King James Version of the Bible. And uh, one of the things that interests me in doing these readings is that uh, I'm just curious as to how, um, oh, excuse me, my ancestors um, uh, were able to become literate so quickly after being freed from uh, their enslaved state here in uh, the wilderness of North America. And so uh, what we do is we just pick any... Uh, any page, uh, you just flip like that, and uh, let's go to page um, um, uh, 778, Hebrews 11, and we'll go to, uh, what's this here, you can't even read the thing, uh, 34, yeah, let's go to 34. They pit out the red hot fire them, and the flame ain't do nothing to them. And God save, save me um, for the enemy, the what one for kill him with the soul. They ain't, ain't uh, been got no sense, but got grim sense. God grim power when the fight for what so they win out over the soldier them of on our country and weak them run away and the uh, translation quench the violence of fire escape the knowledge of the sword out of weakness were made strong Wax va uh, valent in fight, turn to fight the armies of the aliens. We usually read these twice. So again, uh, this is uh, Hebrews eleven thirty four. Uh, they <coughs> they they pit out the red hot fire them, and the flame ain't do <coughs> nothing to them. And God save her, um from the enemy them what 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 when they kill him while they sold they ain't they got no acts no sense but God grim sense God grim power when they fight what so they went out over the so soldier them from other country. And weak, um, run away. Uh, again, see we uh, we read the uh, translation is here. This is the old English, you know, like the Shakespeare uh, model English. And this is the Gullah here. We just finished reading the Gullah the second time. We'll read the old English the second time. Quench the violence of the fire. Escape the now the edge of the sword. Out of weakness. We're made strong, wax valiant in fight, turn to flight the armies of the aliens. And there you go. Uh, every uh, This is a Saturday. Every Saturday we uh, explain a little further. Uh, like I said, I, I, I've been doing this for about a year. It's, it's difficult. Uh, but uh, uh, what it just inspired me is that, uh, again, I have... Uh, Gullah roots on my maternal side, and then uh, my great grandfather. Uh, uh, so I, I read like that, and uh, to do to do it, I'm a lot of, like a ritualistic, ritualistic kind of person. I've been in theater for well, I've been in, I started a theater a long time ago, and uh, uh, and, and and it's uh, so when I created this, I decided that uh, I would look ecumenical. So so I, I have kente cloth that I got long ago. I have this, uh, this is what I call my Ogun cap. Oh, that's from another, not Christian, that's from the Yoruba of West Africa. But the color, when I say it's from the Yoruba of West Africa, because Ogun in West Africa, in, 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 the, in the original Nigerian Yoruba culture, 
his color his color is blue and uh when it goes to brazil uh to condomble the colors became uh, blue and white and when it came up the strain came up through cuba uh to, to santeria uh the colors became uh green which is this side here or if you reverse the hat it's uh I'll turn aside <laughs> Because it's black with a bit of red. So that's why I have that. I like the, the shape like that. I need the glasses because the, 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 font, the font just gives I have a terrible hiccups for some reason. Had them all day. But I have to do these Saturday readings. So uh, 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 so, so that's it. Um, usually I explain the set. But because I've got this situation, I'm not going to explain it. But I have, I have photos. Uh, you know, uh, That's my wife there. I mean, these are, I call them three cats in, uh, three cats in Cape Town, which is, uh, this is Zikalela right here. He's like a Zulu cat. That's about, I mean, he gifted me some Zulu, uh, some Zulu gar uh, garments. And I have his hat right there. And that's, the, that's my friend Ian. And up top is his uh, daughter. Uh, she's like conspiring with me. <laughs> uh, and here is a brother. <laughs> It's just a Rasa brother, I guess you could say. Rasa is another religion. but well, still Christian, I guess. And uh, I like the photo, so I, I started to take it. And when I took that photo, I had this. I had a hat on. I had this hat on. Yeah. I had this hat on. Just like the hat I had on with uh, with Khan right there. And also the hat I had with, with my wife. There. That's, that picture is taken in Alice in the Eastern Cape. Of, or anti Caney, as, as the autochthonous pe people would say, uh, in, so in Southern Africa. Uh, but this is the hat she she made. Uh, and again, like my old Google cap, is is reversible. This is the other side. So when I took this picture with this brother, I uh, I sort of weirdly decided, yeah, hey, I like this. And so I've been taking fo photos with this hat on of people, just selfies. And when I get back to uh, Timbaza, where I'm where I come, where I, where I task, I task him. The boss of creating a little community house, and uh, you know, make a, a, a mural or, or a mosaic of all these photos, and just people's faces, so they can see people from all over the world, different faces like that. Uh, oh, here, that symbol there is a a con. Is another West African religion, uh, and it's uh, well, it says the Nyasapo. I guess is how you pronounce it, right there. And it means wisdom blood. And I use it as my, as, as a symbol. It's interesting enough, I didn't realize, but it's right under this picture of this scholar. It looks like it's a turn, you know, like the early 1900s uh, uh, scholar, a black scholar. It looks like Lewis Latterman to me, but whatever it is. Well, I like that. So wisdom blood, I feel, well, that's my one of my worst, my symbol. That f flag right up there, that's uh, David Hammonds. He's an artist uh, created that flag uh, for a um, biannual uh, thing that happened in the United States. And I like that flag, so I, I have it a bunch of places. Oh, and this is a map of Africa before it got carved up by the colonizers. And you can't see that one. Well, let me show you a little bit here. Right down here, you have we have uh, an article on Henry Dumas, uh, one of my favorite writers. Uh, if not being the, my favorite writer. Well, let me go over here. That up there, that, that oh, way over there, that's the cover of my resume. My resume is rather long, actually, but I actually it's a short version of a long resume. And it says Anthony J. Sloan, uh, cultural cultural revolutionary. So in culture, I consider myself a revolutionary, which I've been identified in academia as that. Uh, but in life, I'm a, 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 a you know a, a, a evolutionary evolved. That's why I do these readings. I figure I'm going to evolve, and maybe in a few years I'll be able to read. Uh, Gullah <laughs> better than I do now. And on this side here, this is another one of my symbols. It says No More Radio, No More Radio. <laughs> Excuse me. me. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that's the other part of the Zulu outfit. Uh, the vest part. That's the part. Oh, by the way, my, my wife is uh, uh, part Zulu and part uh, Kwesan, you know, the original people down there in <laughs> Southern Africa. So I guess that means something. Uh, that's all I need to tell you right here, right now. Uh, so that's the that's the set, as we say. Um, I'll be traveling a little bit for the next few months. Uh, I'll be going back to South Africa in uh, January. 
so things will change. But but because I record these things, I might record. I probably will record a bunch of them. Uh, well, a bunch of them. Uh, and this is Sunday. So these uh, on Sundays I do what's called a. Is this Sunday or is this Saturday? Gosh, what day is this? Is this Sunday? I think this is Saturday. <laughs> I'm That's right. It has to be Saturday because on Sundays I don't do these. I just do these on Mondays through through Saturdays. On Sundays I do the um uh, uh what's called the uh uh Sunday Saturdays well Sunday sermons with Mister Lily Fuller Jr. Um, where I read out of his book. Let me show you the book. Read out of his book. The uh. <sighs> The compensatory concept. Uh, it's, uh, it, like I say, it's the United Independent Compensatory, <laughs> compensatory Co-System concept. It's uh, this is the, happens to be the, the 2016 uh, version. This compensatory counter racist code, and it's been revised and expanded from the original edition, which came out in '84. I actually have the original edition it's down at the bottom, and I bound it up. And well, you'll see it tomorrow if you will. No, you won't see it tomorrow. When I get, get back to the uh, I, I I I read out of that. Um, so. So that's it. I'm glad I'm gonna have to read today out of this because I'm, I got I'm hiccuping all over the place. But uh, you know, hey, just the way it goes. All right. So that's it for me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.